All right, welcome back to the channel, guys. So, uh, I lied when I said that last video would be the last one before a build video because I've made the tubular exhaust, uh, which is pretty intricate. I'm actually going to change it because it looks pretty silly, but it definitely does the job. And, uh, because this thing is really loud before with the, with the zoomy headers. So we've got that changed. And, uh, this thing is tuned crazy good now. Uh, with two compressors, it's hitting like 9,500 RPMs. And it's getting like 260 watts of power I've tuned the dyno now. And it ramps up so quick. And it's just, it sounds unreal. So, this will be definitely the last video before a build video and I can get the files out to you guys but I definitely did work on that yesterday and I got the build of materials done and a couple other things so hopefully I'll get a release of the files for you guys within the next couple days but uh, yeah let's go ahead and see what she sounds like <laughs> Just hit around 7k right there, and it's idling at 400 RPM. This thing puts out some serious air out of the exhaust when it's a uh, higher RPM. <laughs> That was up to uh, 8,900 RPM. Just screaming. So this is the two-stroke version as well. Uh, it's uh, got a opposite lobe. So uh, one of the videos I was watching of Axel Dayton actually, one of his commenters commented that you could have instead of having a four-stroke, since because on an air engine a four-stroke isn't really needed. Uh, it's just a waste of a stroke basically. He recommended that you put the lobe on 180 degree offset, and that way you don't have to remake the camshaft, say for if you want a two-stroke. So it still has the two-to-one camshaft gearing as a four-stroke, but it just has, in the cams, it just has an offset lobe of 180 degrees. So it's firing every, it's, it's a two-stroke. And this thing runs so smooth. Uh, like, see how it's off right now? I don't even need to turn the flywheel or anything. Usually it'll just turn it right up from, uh, from the stop. And it doesn't matter where it's at. So on the four stroke, that wouldn't happen. If it's in the middle of the, the non-used stroke, it wouldn't be able to run like that. Uh, but it just, it's so smooth. Being a two stroke, four cylinder, cross plane. The power delivery on this is crazy. So right now it's idling at 360 RPM. And this thing uses less than 10 PSI of pressure at these sort of idles like this. That's probably using like 8 PSI right now. Uh, but then as soon as you want power, you got power. Sounds really good. It's a 1300 RPM idle right there. Let's go ahead and rev it out and uh, let it sit on the red line for a while. So yeah, that's uh... The inline four cross plane two stroke, about eight cc's, twenty five millimeter stroke. Um, there it is. See you guys in the next video. Peace.